Welcome back to another delivery review. Before you leave, look what's coming up. So as we're finishing up there, what's coming up is, yes, I know, not Burger King, Jollibee, which I've just never been to before. I've heard them many times, chicken, burgers, pies. The majority is, as the first uh, point is chicken. So they were similar to, from my point of view, to a KFC, to a Popeyes, um, all probably modeling themselves on, on the original, you know, KFC from just as a little bit of history, way back 1976, I think, as an ice cream parlor with the uh, Filipino family. Uh, that didn't do too well, so they turned it into a fast food sort of joint or a sandwich joint first. And then eventually that kind of uh, made more money and they eventually turned it into what is now known, obviously, as Jollibee's. Um, quite a kind of catchy name, I guess, as opposed to just a something fried chicken. Um, and they do do burgers, which we'll do at some point. So straight away onto the fries. They were pretty horrendous. Um, they were all over the bag. So the, the delivery driver, I don't think was that too, you know, it was a bit of a distance, so fair dues, but he did get a tip, um, but wasn't that fussed. And probably the guys packing it in the store should have put them into like the, the box behind, you can see at the back with kind of paper over the top or a bag over the top, um, to stop them flying everywhere. A bit like, Burger King do with the closed box, which is brilliant. We'll go on to the gravy in a minute. Um, but they also as a meal, so you'll see that in a second, was the best seller, as there we go, best seller solo uh, meal, which I had it as a spicy version. So it's a spicy chicken sandwich, uh, a chicken joy, which is a piece of chicken. I had three chicken tenders with it, all part of the meal that you can add, do the little add-ons and uh, a peach and mango pie. And overall, as a meal, it wasn't that bad, you know? Um, and you can see, it, the, the look of it is, is you know, pretty pretty nice food. It's just the, uh, maybe the quantity is the wrong word, but like the 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 fries, again, weren't particularly good. They were, they were just crunchy, crispy fries. But the, the size of the chicken tenders, um, everything's, again, getting smaller, I know that, and obviously the price is going up. Um, I would say kind of like hammered flat, which you'll see kind of is similar to what you'll see in the burger. Um, not a lot of, you can see the profile there, not a sort of thick piece of what would be a chicken breast. So they, I can only, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that I know because I don't, but it just appears to be that they're hammered flat to get the most out of it, I guess. Um, the coating on it was quite nice, but it was, it was kind of like a bland sort of taste to it. It probably could do with a few more herbs and spices, a bit like a KFC. However, the super chicken <laughs> gravy, I mean, it, it must have had chicken stock in it because it wasn't the similar flavour to the tenders coating. It was really, really kind of chickeny. That's, that's all I can say. It got a really high chicken flavour to it. And it, was, it was nice. It was a bit thin, um, but it was, it was a really nice gravy. If, if you think of like KFC's, how thick their gravy is, if you haven't had that, try KFC's gravy, really thick. Um, but it was a nice gravy. So waffling on a bit there, but the chicken piece, which was kind of like a chicken breast piece, um, I think these were another chickens or a batch of chickens that have gone through like gang warfare or something in, in their earlier life. They, the bones were kind of brittle, uh, broke away. It was a strange piece of chicken. So, um, I, I don't know. I mean, I was trying to find kind of the chicken on the end of that piece, but the actual chicken itself was nice. As you saw there, some information, 1400 stores taken from the website. So if you jump on their website, um, you can read a bit more about Jollibee's. But yeah, the actual chicken piece there um, was was kind of nice. I think it's actually the, uh, I guess it'd be the ribs kind of um, section. I, I don't really like talking about this kind of stuff because obviously we all know where it's from, but... It's, it's, yeah, it's still on the bone, let's say. Um, the prices weren't particularly bad. Obviously, all the pieces were added as the meal, so unfortunately, you, you don't see the individual pieces like the tenders, but the chicken itself, as, as you can see there, bright white chicken, it was, it was good quality chicken. Um, it was just a little bit, I think you can kind of almost make it out there. It's a little bit dry. Could do with being a little bit more juicy, uh, a bit like what KFC is. Um, not as greasy as Popeyes, but I think that's their coating more than anything else. But it was pretty good chicken. And carrying on with, and you can see there, reality, advertised every week. I mean, look at the size of that chicken breast. It's, uh, 
completely different to that one and the somehow squashed and folded over brioche button um, again i know it's delivery so it's never going to be perfect in terms of delivery but a very very thin which is similar to the the chicken fillet very very thin piece of lettuce not saying lettuce is ever thick but it's it's very very thin i know it's that type of lettuce by the way as well um but maybe they could have had two pieces of lettuce. I added cheese to it just for the fact otherwise it would have been literally, as you can see there, chicken lettuce and a bun. Um, spicy mayo on the top and bottom and the kind of zinger equivalent spicy chicken version I had was really hot. Um, it kind of stayed with you in your mouth. So um, just bear that in mind if you're having the spicy version, but it was pretty good. It was just like I say, just a little bit of a disappointment with the thickness of the fillet. Um, I mean, I've, you've all seen, obviously, you go and check out the Popeyes review. The, the size of the chicken pieces there, they, I mean, well, probably on steroids, who knows? But um, yeah, they, they were really thick and the double was, was almost too much. Like I struggled with the Popeyes, but the flavors in terms of the brioche bun nailed, you know, they got that right. The spicy mayo was very nice and the chicken itself was nice. It could have just done with being a bit thicker, which I know is a bit nitpicking, but... We're all paying a lot of money for this stuff, whether you're in-house, whether you're getting delivered, whether you're in a restaurant, we're all paying a lot of money and it isn't going down. It's going up, as I've said many times before. So a decent burger, decent tenders, could be a bit thicker, and a decent piece of chicken, maybe a drumstick, um, as you saw that little clip there, uh, of a B-roll kind of um, drumstick would have been probably a bit nicer. But if we get onto the, let's say, star of the show, um, I know it's the dessert, so it's not chicken, obviously, but it's the equivalent to an apple pie from McDonald's. It was it was amazing. Um, you'll see the rating in a minute, but it, the, ra the rating literally reflects how good this was. Um, crispy, crunchy, all right, light lava, you know, nearly burnt my mouth, but in fact, I think it did burn my mouth, but... Um, you know, all the pies are the same. They're all like a thousand degrees or whatever, and they just retain the heat. But peach and mango with a with a puree, um, so very very similar, say to McDonald's apple pies, was so nice. Like to finish off the meal, it was almost like a palate cleanser. It, you know, it it was really good. It, it took the chicken and the spice um, sort of out your mouth. It was it was really good. I'm not going to say any more. It's just try it. The, the the pies are really good. Unfortunately, you know, is what it is. But the ratings, as you'll see, not particularly good. You know, maybe the next time they'll be better, but 8.5, 6, 8.5, and 10 out of 10 of the pie. So it was a nice place. Thanks for watching. Appreciate all the subscribers, and we'll be on to the next one next week.